Hello friends, my name is BK Kolhapur. In last video, we have seen some problems on centroid where we have considered the reference axis 1, 1 and 2, 2 to locate the distance of the centroid. Today, we will see the other category of problem where the axis is given to you or the point is given to you with respect to that axis or point, you will have to locate the centroid of the given figure. Let us take up a simple example and try to find out the centroid of the figure. So in this problem, you are required to locate the centroid of the figure with respect to O. So whenever such problems will be coming, you should be careful in which quadrant the figures are lying. First quadrant both are positive, second quadrant x is negative, y is positive. Based upon the location of the uh, quadrant, you will have to decide the signs for the coordinates for the component of the area. Now if you want to find out the centroid of this, we have got three figures, we have got a rectangle, we have got a triangle and we have got a semicircle. All are added to get the required figure. But the location of the centroid will be with respect to O. Suppose if I take this as G1 is one rectangle, G2 is a triangle and G3 if it is a semicircle. Now with this we can go for the table. So our reference axis is X, X and Y which is given to you the problem and O is the origin of the given figure. Suppose if I go with component, area, distance of the centroid from, distance from OX, distance from OX, Y and next is distance from OY. So this is the distance, so the distance will be y, this will be a x, this will be a y. Six columns. We will begin with g1. g1 is a rectangle and the size of the rectangle is 6 meters. This radius is given to you. So 2.5 plus 2.25. So this total height will be 4.5. So 6 by 4.5. So if you multiply this, you get 27 27 mm so here the distance the centroid is at the center i want the distance from 1 ox so total height is 4.5 half of that will be 2.25 so 4.5 by 2 so this will be equal to 2.25 we will go with the same pattern as we have gone for the earlier problem y x a1 ax so here i have located the distance y now i want the distance of the centroid from this axis this is my reference axis so this distance will be half of 6 meters so total is 6 half of that will be 3 so 6 by 2 will be equal to 3 if you multiply these two you get 3750 and this you get 28125 28125 now here likewise sorry the values are not correct here so okay please rectify these values so if you multiply the values you get this as 60.75 and the other value you get is 81 
Next we will go to G2. G2 is a triangle. Area of triangle is half into base into height. Half into base is 3. And height of this triangle is 4.5. If you multiply this, you get this as 6.75. Now, I need the distance of the center from OX. So this distance will be it is from the line, from the base, one third of the height. And how much is the height here? 4.5. So 4.5 divided by 3 is the distance. So this will be equal to 1.5 meters. Now I want the distance of the centroid from OY. This distance I want. I want this distance. So we know from the line, this distance is one third of the height. And how much is the height in this direction? 3. So this will be 3 by 3, but I want from here. So this will be 6 plus 3 by 3 is the distance of the center. 6 plus 3 by 3, this will be equal to 7. And if you multiply this, you get 10.13 and this value you get as 47.25. To this we will add G3. G3 is a semicircle whose radius is, how much is the radius of the semicircle? 2.25 Area of semicircle is pi r square by 2 so pi into 2.25 square divided by 2 so if we multiply this, you get this as 7.95 Now, I need the distance of the center of the semicircle from OX, this distance now see here, this figure is lying in the second quadrant. These figures are lying in the first quadrant. This is lying in the second quadrant. So in second quadrant, x is negative, y is positive. So this distance what we are measuring will be positive and this is nothing but the radius. What we are seeing here. And radius is 2.25. Now distance of the center of the figure from 2 to this distance I want. We know the distance of the center of a semicircle from the diameter is how much? 0.424 r. Here it is coinciding with the axis. So this distance will be 0.424 r. But it is in the second quadrant. X will be negative. So right here this is minus 0.424 into r is 2.25. So you get this value equal to minus 0.954. Why negative? Because on LHS. Because it is on LHS of the axis. So if you multiply these values, you get 17.89 and the next value will be minus 7.58. So be careful here. We are getting the negative value. Now nothing is to be added. If I take sigma A, add all the three, you get sigma A is 41.7 you get sigma ay if you add all the values you get it as 88.77 all are positive now here you will have to add this plus this since this is minus you will have to deduct it so this plus this minus this if you add it you get 120.67 once you get these values you can easily find out the coordinates of the shaded area x bar is equal to sigma a x by sigma a so this will be equal to be careful here take correct column 120.67 divided by the area is 41.7 and if you simplify the value of x what you get is 2.89 meters and y bar if you simplify sigma a y by sigma a so you get this value as 120.67 divided by 41.7 so if you simplify you get this as 2.13 meters so the coordinates of the given figure are 2.89 meters and 2.13 meters so write this in the end it will better cg of the given figure hmm? now this is the category where the reference axis is given to you This is for some more problems where the reference axis is given to you.
then columns remains the same only thing you have to locate the distances of the centroid from where they are given and whether they are positive or negative so if i take up a simple figure So this is the shaded area about which you are required to find out and here is here on the x and y axis so your origin will be this so you will have to locate the distance of center of all the figures from O if you just see here we see three figures here one rectangle one semicircle and one triangle first what you have to do to a rectangle you will have to add a triangle then finally you will have to punch out a semicircle this is the procedure remaining same these two figures are in the first quadrant, both x and y are positive, whereas this figure is in the fourth quadrant. So in fourth quadrant, x is positive, y is negative. So whenever the point is given to you, you should see in which quadrant the figure is lying. Now here, if I divide it into rectangle G1, to this G1 I am adding this G2, from that I am deducting a semicircle. So if I begin with G1, G1 is a rectangle. What is the size of the rectangle? 100 mm by 150 mm. So 100 by 150. So this will be equal to 15000. This is the area. Then this is my reference axis. I want the distance of the center from OX. So total height here is 150. Half of that will be 75. So 150 by 2 is equal to 75. I want the distance of center from 2 to this distance. Total is 100, half of that will be 50. So this will be 100 by 2 is equal to 50. If you multiply the values, you get 1125000 and this will be 750000. You are getting a big values here. To this we will add a triangle this triangle half into base into height so this will be equal to half into base is how much here 100 into height is how much here 40 so this will be equal to 2000 now we know the distance of the center from this axis it is from the base from the line is from the base it is one third of the height and how much is the height in this direction 40. So this distance will be one third of the height, but it is going downwards. It is going in the fourth quadrant. Y is negative. So here this will be equal to minus 0.424 into R is sorry one third of the height. So this distance is one third of the height. So this is minus one third of the height of the figure is 40. So this will be equal to negative because it is downwards it is going downwards and I want the distance of centroid from 2 to so this distance happens to be towards right 
it is positive because it is in fourth quadrant x is positive y is negative so this distance is again nothing but the line that means from the base and this will be one third of the height and how much is the height in this direction 100 see when i go like this this will be the height and when i go like this this will be the height and this height is 100 so this will be 100 by 3 100 by 3 if you multiply the values you get this as minus 2666.7 and this one you get 6666.7 we added rectangle and a triangle adding is over we will draw a double line which indicates adding is over we will go for deduct what we are deducting is g3 g3 is a semicircle whose radius is radius is important here 50 area is pi into 50 square divided by 2 if you simplify this you get 3926 3926.88 now you need the distance of the center from 1 1 this distance this is nothing but the radius so radius is how much here 50 it is in first quadrant I need the distance of the center from 2 to I need this distance but what I know is this distance the distance of the center of a semicircle from the diameter is 0.424 r so in such case what you do first go up to the diameter that is 100 minus 0.424 r you will get this distance so it will be 100 minus 0.424 into r is 50 if you simplify this you get 78.8 you multiply ax and ay you get 196344 and if you multiply this 313365 nothing more to detect here just draw a line so sigma a this plus this minus this so if you get 13079 0.12 likewise sigma a y this minus because on positive side it is minus sign this minus this minus this, this is already deduction so if you simplify this you get 9019 89.3 similarly a x this plus this minus this so if you simplify this you get 503301.7 knowing these values you can find out x bar and y bar so x bar is equal to sigma ax by sigma a last column 503301.7 divided by sigma a 13079.12 if you simplify this you get the value of x bar is equal to 38.48 mm and y bar is equal to sigma ay by sigma a sigma ay is 901989.3 divided by area remains the same 13079.12 if you simplify this you get the value of y bar as 68.96 mm so finally the coordinates of the hashed area are x bar is 38.48 and y bar comma is equal to 68.96 mm so this is how you will have to decide depend upon the position of the origin thank you friends please subscribe the videos press the bell icon for notifications any questions you can just ask in the comment section thank you